Pro Tools version 4.3, in Visual Studio Code, you can now generate Windows Forms without actually having to use the Windows Form Designer. You can build a function and a Windows Form can be built for you. In this example, we're going to look at a function I built called New User. New User accepts a string, which is a uh, username, which is a string, uh, enabled, which is a switch parameter, and department, which has a validate set attribute on it. If I uh, execute the PowerShell generate Windows form commandlet or command, you'll see that I have uh, some code generated. If I start this particular script, you'll see there is my um, form that was generated based on my function. I can enter information into the function or the form and submit it, and you'll see that it executed the uh, new user uh, function that I built. So there's no need to use the form designer whatsoever. So what was uh, generated here was the uh, script.form.ps1 that contains the code necessary for starting the form and uh, the code that hooks up the um, event handler for the button to our function. Additionally, a script.form.designer file was created that contains all the necessary uh, control code uh, that builds the actual form. Additionally, since we are inside Visual Studio Code, what we can do is we can open the uh, Windows Form Designer and further customize this form if we wish to add more controls or um, customize some of the labels, that kind of thing. So in this video, we went over the new feature to generate Windows Forms from functions in PowerShell Pro Tools for Visual Studio Code. Um, and this is being released in version 4.3 of PowerShell Pro Tools.